Wait, the full name or just Andy? What's your name? Uh, my name is Andy. I think my birth certificate says Andrew. When, when my dad was passing away, um, we were at my parents' house. We had my dad on hospice in the um, living room, or in the dining room, actually. So we moved to the kitchen table, the dining room table, and we put my dad there. He's like in a hospital bed at home. And so we camped out there for like four weeks, five weeks, as he was passing. And we would jam in the garage I think it's like midnight or something. It was late. And our eyes are closed and I'm just playing whatever. I'm just and my mom's like, all right, man, what are you what are you playing? You're not saying, you're not really saying anything. And I'm like, well, what do you mean? She's like, just say something with your guitar. So then uh, so we start playing again and I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna say like baby girl or something. So I'm like, being near. And then our eyes are closed as we're playing, we're jamming again, and she's like, I heard that, baby girl. And I'm like, whoa, what? So wait, no, now we have to stop. What did you just say? She's like, I heard exactly what you said. And I'm like, how is that possible? She's like, well, you know, she said, she congratulated me, I think. She said, congrats on finding your voice. She's like, I'm glad I could be here to witness it. It's like, oh, that's really cool. I didn't realize <laughs> that's what all those guys were doing. <laughs> Actually saying something, you know? seemed a, a lesson a little late to learn, but it's beautiful. It transcends guitar, music. Now you get to find your voice in everything and just explore. But the guitar has always just been sort of been like a daily routine, more of like a meditation. Sometimes things just click and you're just somewhere else for a moment. And it's similar to maybe surfing or skateboarding or when you're in your true flow state. You know, sometimes when I'm playing, I forget about it, I have to remind myself like, be intentional with your voice. Like what a life lesson that is. Be intentional with your words. And that, I, you know, I believe that's what separates a great song from a not so great song. So I think being intentional with your words is cool. And it's funny to get all these life lessons out of just playing guitar. <laughs> Finding your voice. Yeah.